Shit. <clears throat> ah, well, at least it ain't your job. Ah, shut up, Arthur. Yeah, your job's starting the fights. You ain't winning them. We can scrap, Arthur. I'm just no good at homework. I can see. Besides, what do you care, Englishman? You've got no time for me. I tried to find your work, but then you're off cutting jobs with other folks, and your boy Sean doesn't get a look in. Guess I don't want to get shot, that's all. Yeah, you're a real fucking funny shit, Arthur Morgan, huh? Real fucking funny. Calm down. You better sleep with your eyes open. Yeah, well, you're gonna sleep with your chest open if you ain't careful, boy. <laughs> I love you, Arthur Morgan. I love you. Come on, take a shot. Come on, take your best shot, please, eh? Grow up. And let me come on the raid with you. Great. Don't be playing coy with me, son. It's unbecoming. That bloody train you and him has set up. What you're doing out here, you're going to need guns. You're going to need men. Oh, that. So Marston told you? It ain't a big show. I need calmness. If I take you, I might as well bring Micah along. Now compare me to that oily toward again. You're a dead man. <laughs> Fair enough. Anyway, Arthur, what's your problem with me? In fact, don't tell me. I already know. You are threatened by me. Threatened by you? Yeah, my youthful vigor. It intimidates you. Does it? It's a story as old as the hills. The changing of the guards, the fading of the light. You're toast, old man. Okay. And what are you? I'm the future. In all its glory. Oh, well, good luck. Good luck and shut up. <laughs> I want to get some rest before nightfall. <clears throat> Wake up, you lazy sir. What are you doing here, kid? I'm coming, John. On the job. I said you weren't coming. Yeah, well, Arthur says I am. And it's his party, boy, so come on, let's go. <laughs> Me and the big cheeses love it. Can't wait to slit some bastard's throat. You sure about this? No. <laughs> Are we ready? Yeah. Train's due through tonight. All right, then. It's on. Charles? I'm ready. Gentlemen, let's go earn some money. Here. Yeah. Hey, all the horses untethered? Think so. Good. They should follow on behind us. You're going to wreck the wagon. You find a good spot, Wolfman? Yeah. Follow the trail southwest. There's a spot that's remote, but should still give them enough time to spot the oil wagon. They see this block in the tracks, they'll stop soon enough. Apparently. Picks up a new team of guards at the state line, so... It shouldn't be too much in the way of guns to deal with. See? This is what I mean. I disappear for a couple of weeks, and you cut me out of all the action. Just the action that requires a break. Ha ha ha. You're a funny feller, John Marston. But my folks, eh? You had your feet up the whole time, playing sick, and fondling that new scar, like you're gonna buy a breakfast in the morning. You don't know what you're talking about. Stay close on this. Wouldn't want you getting scratched by a squirrel or something. That could put you out of commission for the rest of the year. Why do you have to speak so much? It's incessant. They're left here, towards roads. Because I've still got some blood in me veins. You old bastards have forgotten how to live. I blame you two for rescuing them. Far too much trouble for what we got out of it. Yeah, takes a whole army of bounty hunters to bring in Sean McGuire. And look at me now, in the gutter sea. <laughs> Back in business, boys. <laughs> You know, my dad always used to say... Not the dad, no, please. Not this oh. again. Fine. Damn you three. Sulky, angry, scarface. A right barrel of laughs. So, we blocked the tracks with the wagon, then jumping. That's the plan. Pretty much. Charles, you deal with the engineer. John, secure the passenger car fast, take charitable donations, and make sure everyone behaves. Little Mr. McGuire, you focus on the baggage car. Grab any valuables you can find. Here's good. Stop the wagon over the tracks. Remember, these are innocent folks. We handle this right, nobody needs to die here. Yeah, yeah.
Mr. Marston, Mr. Smith, Mr. McGuire, come! Get over there. When she slows, order. And you? I'm gonna make sure she slows. That's do or die with you. <laughs> I like it. Get moving. Finish up here. Join us on board. Go on! Get on there! Hey! Foster! All yours, Captain. Well, go on ahead. Everybody stay calm and sure. make sure you get shot! Go! Everything you got! Money! Valuable! Please! There you go. Please! Let's make this quick, me. people! Come on! We ain't leaving until this bag's full. This is unnecessary. Please. Don't do it. I'm I ain't begging. got nothing. You want to have a little oh. chat with Romeo and Juliet here? What's the problem here? Please, please, don't help me. Honey, hey, Don't do this. Just give it to him, Thomas, please. Okay. Come on. Okay. In the bag, everything he's got. Keep it coming. Don't be shy. People like you make me sick. These two seem to think we're playing games. I want to count to three. One. Two. God damn it. Sick is better than that lady. I'll show my goddamn patience. Let's just do what he says so this can be. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a robbery. Let's make this quick. No, you go ahead and look for the baggage car. Look at you. Huh? You sure about Why that? Why are you wasting our time? Huh? You show this son of a bitch we ain't playing around here. Deal with this fella, will you? This is quick. Come on, come on, partner. come on, quick. Everything you got, money, valuables. We ain't leaving till this bag's full. You won't get a damn cent from me. Let me hand you over to my friend then. Money now, you son of a bitch. Come on, cup it up, people. Don't be shy. Everything you got, let's go! I can handle this from here. You should check on Sean. Okay. Okay! None of you folks move away. What is it? You alright? Hear me? Fill the baggage car. For Christ's sake, you ain't even taking a look yet? Probably something in here, Arthur. Gives you twice the chance of hitting someone. <laughs> Very funny. We're looking good in here. You don't have a right old lump on me head. At least you ain't got a hole in it. Are those tennis rackets in there? Hosh bastards. Just keep your eyes peeled. We're doing me best, all right. I know, that's what's worrying me. Some decent stuff. All right, we should probably be going now. These folks are rich, all right. Come on, we should get out of here.
We'll take that. Arthur, we've got a problem. There's two arseholes on horses. How many is Shay? I just see a pair of them. Uh, in that case, we're fighting. Horst, Smith, get ready. You men come out the train now, do you hear? We said you men come out now. There's only two of you, you fools. We got a whole lot less to lose. Why don't the two of you ride away? That way neither you get killed. Goddamn liberties. Eh? There's a few more of them torn enough. Damn my big mouth. Okay, let's deal with them. Fun, boys. Real fun. We can see what they call you the professionals in the outfit. Shut <laughs> up. At least we made some money. Hey, what did I get? Got to be a hundred dollars here. Very nice. You weren't even invited. <laughs> what now? <laughs> we still need a real big take. Enough for us to get out of here. Was that a setup? Law turned up real fast. I don't know. I don't think so, but I'm starting to get nervous. Think they followed us from Blackwater? Maybe. They found me already near Horseshoe, but I think this law was just locals. I hope so. I'm gonna head into Valentine, see if I can get something started there. Good idea. Either way, we should all go it alone right now. You know the deal. Don't be followed. Uh, of course not, boss. Yeah. Go on! <laughs> 